Ah, Brains and Brawn is back. The rules are simple. We highlight players that deserve more of that highlighter. And today's star is telling us the 30 is the new 25. Quick, name the A's leader in OPS and OPS Plus. Matt Chapman? No. The other Matt Olson? Try again. Oh, Marcus Semyon, big year. Wrong. Mark Canna, come on down. A 913 OPS. That OPS Plus means he's 45% better than league average at the plate. Top of the line hitting from a guy who has upped his game to another level, another two, three levels. Let me show you what a career year looks like. Let's take his first four years in the big leagues. 728 OPS, 1.7 wins above replacement in four years combined. Now just 2019, he's more than doubled that number in one season. How does this happen? Let's start with the discipline. Finally getting consistent big league at bats. His eye is getting better and better at the big league level. Last year he chased 31% of pitches out of the zone. That number down to about 25% this season, and that leads us to a walk rate that skyrocketed. 8% last year to nearly 14%. That is a monumental increase. How big? It's the biggest increase in baseball this year. 5.4% increase. You gotta look at that number and go, wow, this guy's walking more, he's spitting at more pitches, so you're getting more pitches to hit, and he's one of the best fastball hitters in the sport, so that all works out, right? He's also the poster boy of the A's pull-happy approach at the plate. Example right here, highest Woba against fastballs this season, he's at 469. Now, you know when that's especially useful when you're a big pull hitter too? When baseballs are flying out of the yard more than ever this year. He's third in pull rate in the big leagues, just behind Hunter Renfro and Brian Dozier. Good looking names on this list. Suarez, Max Kepler, big home run hitters. He's got it all figured out right now. And it's not like every team was trying to grab this guy. The Marlins picked him in the seventh round in 2010. Rockies grab him in the Rule 5 draft. That means the Marlins made him available. Then the Rockies that day deal him to the Oakland A's. So he's bouncing around and it's all worked out beautifully. He's probably going, Oakland, great. He's living the dream. He's a local kid from San Jose. He's getting better as the year goes on. We talked about him a lot, the, what, a couple weeks ago. He won his first Player of the Week award in August. There's a good article from the Mercury News on his recent in-season mechanical tweaks. I will give you the quote. Basically, I try to eliminate as much movement backwards in my load or gather as I can and try to just move forward into my swing and make more efficient, positive movement to the ball instead of having my head move backwards and then forwards. Mike Lowell is going to bring us in here to talk about the head movement and what he's talking about and how that has changed his game. He's had a great year, but then still a few weeks ago, he's like, let me work on some things mechanically and it's taken him to even another level. It really has. Before we get into the breakdown, we're kind of in this golden age of guys 19, 20, 21 entering the league and being, you know, impact guys. Mike Trout, you know, Bryce Harper, Manny Machado, Juan Soto. Even this year, we got all the juniors, Acuna Jr., Tatis Jr., Guerrero Jr., Scotty, that's the exception. That's not the rule. Most guys break into the league mid-20s, and I've always thought it takes about 800 to 1,000 big league at-bats to understand what it is that you do well, what your weaknesses are, what the league does for you. So we're going to take a look at Mark Canna's first four years. Check out the number of at-bats in his first four years. It totals 1,020 at-bats, right at that mark. So I think you know, the quote that he made at the end was very, I thought, very special in the sense that he had a precise plan for his offseason. You know, two times around, now he said, okay, head movement is what I understand lets me spit on pitches that the pitcher wants me to swing at and also take advantage of pitches that I want, you know, that I want to swing at. So I think what it does is you get a lot of 3-2 counts, and we're going to take a look at a couple at-bats right here. We're 3-2, just borderline down. Oh, I take it. Now, on base, like you mentioned, the walk rate has been outstanding. These pitches right here, maybe last year, these are swings, and when they're pitchers' pitches, they're ground balls to short. They're ground balls to third. So I think this not only gives you the confidence. Sometimes they say, you know, walk is as good as a hit. Mentally, confidence-wise, it really is, because then it puts you in a position to say, okay, I'm going to take advantage of my pitch because I have my game plan. This at-bat here against Kikuchi I thought was very telling of his season. He takes that 1-1 one, one, uh, curveball as a strike. Why it's not his, that's fine. Lays off one, almost swings at a slider in the dirt, then, then gets that same slider, but guess what? It wasn't down. He made sure it was high enough to take advantage of the pitch where he wants it. And what I think is when, when you're in that mode of I have a set game plan and I'm, and I'm able to execute what I want to do, I think it allows you to kind of zone into the quadrant that you want. 
it shows that he has tons of power. Well, here, this is beautiful foul ball stuff in Oakland where you can kind of get away with another life. something. But yeah, it's 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 give me another chance to live. You know, those guys that can foul off the tough pitches, lay off what I call the the at bat changes, the two one pitch. Do you turn into two two or does it go to three one? That you know that one zero pitch is it one one or two zero? You know, you take a look at this. Those thousand twenty at bats, I think, are very telling because I think it really showed that okay, I I have this wealth of information now that I know what I've been doing well and what I need to work on. And basically, any hitter, in my opinion, can sit in on the on the the pre pregame meeting of the pitchers and know what they're going to do to you. This all comes down to execution, as you see here. His home runs in four combined years, 41. This year, 23. I mean, the OPS jump is nearly 200 points. His on-base percentage has gone up 90 points. So when you got to line up with Chapman, Olsen, Simeon, you throw Canna in there, I think it's that whole mentality of let's keep the line moving. It keeps allowing to put pressure on the opposing pitcher, on the opposing defense. And for all his hard work, I think the Oakland A's are really reaping the rewards. Props to the A's for giving him a chance yep. and then also giving him time. We don't always do that anymore. Yeah, I, I mean, he, time. and his age 30 season, everyone's like, oh, we got to come in at 22. No, most guys, it takes him a while. Eh, he's maybe like fine wine. He That's gets better with age. I gave him the line. 30 is the go. new 25. I like Not. it.